Yo guys, what is up? My name is Jurocroft and welcome back once again to another epic Minecraft build video where today we're going to be transforming the end pillars into a much more fitting dragon's pit. After killing the ender dragon, all that's left are 10 huge obsidian pillars. So let's just see what we can put together. And so it begins, starting today's video with probably one of the most time consuming parts of this project. I'll be constructing an outer wall. This wall will connect all of the obsidian pillars, making it slightly easier to work with having a full solid structure. It definitely took its time and I had no idea what I was in for. No build plan or the slightest idea what I was going to make of this dragon's pit. The only thing I knew at this stage was to stick to a gothic fantasy style castle theme. Now even though this may or may not be visible later on in the video, my next idea was still to fill the center platform using a combination of blocks and patterns to create a really awesome looking decorative abstract flooring. I decided to use different shades of grey, black and white to put this together and it was surprisingly one of the most enjoyable parts of this project. You can easily put together thousands of different abstract patterns as long as you make sure that your pattern is symmetrical. Now the area surrounding the dragon's pit is definitely extremely boring, so I've decided to upgrade this slightly by adding some custom trees, stone spikes and a path which leads straight up to the dragon's lair. Now the path leading to the dragon's pit could definitely use an upgrade too, so I'm going to decorate the path using some dragon bones, just as an extra added feature. And now we can start constructing the main entrance. I'll be getting rid of one of the obsidian pillars to make way for a large decorative archway and also building a flight of stairs using some stone slab. And now with the entrance complete, things start to get a whole lot more interesting. I need to start upgrading the walls and decorating these huge obsidian towers. A lot of experimenting for now, but I've decided to add these huge spikes across the top of each tower. Now with the use of several different blocks from cobblestone wall, fence, stairs and purple clay, I continued to build and decorate until I soon found myself at the top of the tower. This is where I decided to give this build a whole lot more meaning by adding a giant crystal on the top of the tower and actually adding end crystals just like the original obsidian pillars. Well guys, we have definitely made a significant amount of progress and things are really starting to shape up. Just take a look at the before and after. It really goes to show how simplistic default Minecraft really is and I actually think it's about time they upgrade some of the content. Right guys, now all that's left for me to do now is simply continue building with the same style, making sure that all the walls and towers are completely covered. I actually really like the look of this build, even though I literally had no build plan for this particular project. Well guys, now it's time to move on to one of the most challenging parts of this build. The idea was to actually build a dragon corpse inside this pit. I'm going to finish off building this fancy looking staircase and then we can move on to building the dragon. Now this was incredibly tricky and completely out of my comfort zone because believe it or not throughout my 5 years of Minecraft building I have never attempted at building a dragon. So this was definitely a stretch and I had to constantly adjust several different blocks until I was initially happy with the overall design. And even though this was just a dragon's corpse I thought it would be a great idea to also add a ball and chain to make it seem like the dragon was actually trapped. I was very indecisive when trying to decide between a living dragon and a dragon corpse but I thought I'd make it easier for myself seeing as I've never built one before. Either way it definitely turned out way better than I ever expected. I can't even imagine what it would be like to fight a dragon of this size but it surely does make a great addition to this project so I shall wait your feedback in the comments below. You guys should know what time it is so let's roll that cinematic. Ignorance. You imprison those capable of saving our world. So when the Legion returned to our shores, you were not prepared. 
as we turn the tide of this eternal war. Well guys, I hope you got some build tips and ideas from this video. Don't forget to subscribe for more and I will catch you in the next one. This is Jurocraft over and out.